This is Pre-Calc 12, Chapter 1.1. We're going to look at dividing polynomials. Uh, this is used for division to find out quotients and remainders, used for simplification and reduction. And if your remainder is zero, we know the divisor is a factor. Uh, this is just like long division with numbers. This is also used in calculus. And the important thing to remember when dividing polynomials is to pad missing powers with zeros. So we're going to use placeholders. And you should recall that the division statement is the dividend is equal to the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder. So we have dividend equals divisor times the quotient plus remainder. Let's look at an example. We have 6x to the 4th plus 8x cubed minus 5x plus 3 all over 2x squared minus 4. So when we write this out, we need to pad the missing powers. We have no x term here, so we add 0x. We're missing the x squared term here, so we add 0x squared. Again, these are placeholders. So we have to look at the leading terms. So we're looking at 2x squared and 6x to the 4th. How many times does 2x squared go into 6x to the 4th? That's 3x squared. And we put it above the x squared term. Now we just multiply this partial quotient by the divisor. So we have 6x to the 4th plus 0 minus 12x squared. Okay, we're subtracting this, just like in long division. And now we have, this goes to 0, 8x cubed minus 0, so that's 8x cubed. 0 minus negative 12x squared. We have two minus signs, so that's a plus. And we bring down a term. Just like in long division with numbers. Okay, now we look at the leading term. 8x cubed. How many times does 2x squared go into it? It's 4x. Okay, again, we multiply. We get 8x cubed plus 0 minus 16x. Again, we are subtracting this. This goes to 0. 12x squared minus 0 is 12x squared. And we have two negative signs again. So this is, we're adding 16x. So this is 11x. And we bring down another term. And again, leading terms. And we have 12x squared divided by 2x squared. So that's plus 6. And we multiply. And we subtract. And we have 0, and we have 11x. And again, we're adding, because there's two negative signs. OK. And just so that you know what everything's called, these are called partial products. You can call them partial quotients as well, because we're dividing. Again, I'll just write this out. How many times does 2x squared go into 6x to the fourth? We're doing the leading coefficients. And finally, we usually need to write our division statement, unless we're just concerned about the quotient or the remainder. For this division statement, we have 6x to the 4th 
plus 8x cubed minus 5x plus 3. We don't need to pad here for the division statement. 2x squared minus 4 times 3x squared plus 4x plus 6 plus our remainder which is 11x plus 27 remainder remainder and the note here is to watch out for negative signs and subtraction because that turns it into a plus okay we have a special case when we're dividing by a monic linear binomial linear binomial is bx minus a a monic linear binomial is where b equals 1. If b does not equal 1, then stick with long division. Okay, so but for this special case where b is 1, so we have x minus a, we can use what's called synthetic division. And for synthetic division, we leave out the variable and the leading term for the divisor. And we still need to remember to use zero placeholders for missing powers. We use negative a so that we can add instead of subtract. So here's an example. 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 17x plus 4, all divided by x plus 4. I won't show you long division again, but I'll show you the work. Our answer is 2x squared minus 5x plus 3, and our remainder is negative 8. We have x plus 4. We negate the 4 because we have x minus a. So in this case, a is negative 4. We're copying the coefficients over. So this is really the x cubed term, the x squared term, the x term, and the constant term. First thing we do is we bring down the leading coefficient, 2. Next step, we multiply negative 4 times 2. That gives us negative 8. Now we add the next column, and we get negative 5. We multiply negative 4 times negative 5, that's 20. Then we add the next column. So negative 17 plus 20, that's 3. And again, we multiply negative 4 times 3. And we get negative 12. Add the next two numbers, and we get negative 8. Here we have negative 4 times 2. Negative 4 times negative 5. negative 4 times 3. And this is 3 minus 8. This is negative 17 plus 20. And this is 4 minus 12. Okay, and again, this is our remainder. And negative 8 matches the negative 8 here. Our solution has, this is the x squared term, this is the x term, and this is the constant term. So basically everything is shifted over 1. So we have 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. And that's our quotient, which matches the long division. So synthetic division is shorter, but it's abstract. I know that took me longer to explain, but if you just do the operations, it's much shorter. And again, we need to write out our division statement for the answer. 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 17x plus 4 equals our divisor, x plus 4 times our quotient, which is 2x squared, minus 5x, plus 3. 
add in our remainder, which is negative eight. And we have another special case where we can use synthetic division. The procedure is a little bit different. If you have trouble with this, just stick with regular long division. Okay, again, we have bx minus a. We change our divisor to x minus a over b. And then we divide the intermediate quotient by b. Okay, so our divisor here is negative 3x plus 6. So we take negative 3x plus 6. And we change that into x minus 2. So we perform our synthetic division. Bring down the negative 6. Multiply by 2. Negative 12, add, we get negative 12. Negative 12 times 2 is negative 24, add, and we get 9. 2 times 9 is 18, add the two numbers, and we get 8. Now we just divide our quotient, we leave the remainder alone. We need to divide that by b, and in this case, b is negative 3. So negative 6 divided by negative 3 is 2, negative 12 divided by negative 3 is 4, and 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So our answer is 2x squared plus 4x minus 3, remainder 8. Recall that this is x cubed, x squared, x, and c, and our answer is shifted over, so this is x squared, x, and c. And that completes this lesson.